Good evening, my name is Fernando Ramirez, and my research project will be about Asian hornet invaders threatening the livelihood of Western honeybees. Okay, so some background to the issue. So originally from East Asia, various hornet species such as the Asian hornet, Vespa velutina, and the Asian giant hornet, Vespa mandarinia, have, become, have quickly become lethal invasive species in numerous parts of the world, such as Western Europe and the Pacific West of the United States. Already being threatened by the use of pesticides, habitat loss and the impact of climate change in the Western world, invasive species add to a near threat to Western honeybees, as well as they do to other members of the Apidae family. Asian hornets are the largest in the world, much larger than the ones found in Europe, and they are also famous for their brutality against members of the Apidae family, particularly towards honeybees. Asian hornets are capable of decimating entire honeybee colonies in a matter of minutes. Unlike Japanese honeybees and other Eastern Asian honeybees, Western honeybees, Apis mellifera, have no instinct have, have no instinct mechanisms to defend themselves against Asian hornets, which is the reason why they are so vulnerable to their attacks and to their presence. <clears throat> okay, so my question is, do Asian hornets, such as Vespa velutina and Vespa mandarina, represent a threat to Western honeybee survival and activity in Western Europe and the Pacific Northwest? Okay, so I'm going to, for, for my first journal, Take a look at the data. <clears throat> France has been particularly hit by the Asian hornet species in comparison to other Western European countries. This is because French, France was the country where it was introduced first. This journal focuses on the impacts of Asian hornets, Vespa velutina, and Western honeybees, survivability and foraging activity. Okay, so the journal's second figure gives us graphic insight on the impact Asian hornet presence has around honeybee hives. Increased presence of Asian hornets around beehive entrances reduces significantly bee flying activity, effectively tri triggering foraging paralysis. So here in figure A, we can see how the number of as the number of hornets in increases around the entrances. Yeah. The relatively fly activity of the bee colony decreases significantly, which leads us to foraging paralysis. No more foraging, no more going out. Okay, so observation on control hives revealed that lower fly activity was correlated with higher capture rates of bee hornets, which means the lower activity, the lower fly activity, the more likely hornets are to capture bees. Lower fly activity, as shown by the by the second figure, is also correlated to a higher forage homing failure. So you may ask yourself, what is homing failure? Homing, fa fa homing failure is when bees go out to forage, but they don't return. Now, naturally, not every bee that goes out to forage, out of the colony to forage, returns to the colony. However, the presence of Asian hornets makes homing failure much larger. As stated here, as, be, as, yeah, as relative activity of the colony decreases, forager homing failure increases by percentage. So as stated later in the article, foraging paralysis and forager homing failure can lead to colony collapse, since both foraging paralysis and forager homing failure can disrupt the supply chains needed to sustain the colony. The study proves that Asian hornets do prove to be a menace to Western honey, Western honeybees, colony survival and disruption to their activities. For the second journal, we use the same method of research using journal one, However, in this uh, this journal is focuses on a, on a method the French are using to to yeah are they are employing this method to combat uh, Asian hornets in their mission to prevent Asian hornets from being disruptive 
to be colonies. The same method was used by French researchers analyzing the effectiveness of muscle covers in the protection of honeybees from Asian hornets. The study shows that colonies protected with the with, with, uh, with the muscle had higher fly activity of honeybees than colonies without the muscle when hoovered by hornets. However, foraging homing failure, both in muscle control and non-muscle control, experienced the same homing failure rates relative to their dis decreased fly activity, respectively. This is naturally because the muscle is meant to protect bees in the colony, not, hon not honeybees that go outside of it. So some look at the research, at the data here. You can see that, like again, what we saw previously, as, uh, as the number of hornets increases, relative activity decreases. However, when, as we, as we did seen with experiment of, with the muscle protection, the muscle, Bee colonies that are protected with the muscle experience a much lesser uh, decrease in activity compared to the ones that are not protected with the muscle. However, for foraging homing failure, both muscle control and non-muscle control experience the same homing failure rates relative to the decrease in flight activity respectively. This is naturally because the muscle is meant to protect the colony, not bees outside of it. Yes, and here we we uh, we see that both muscle and non-muscle controls experience the same degree as uh, as activity decreases, homing failure increases. And again, I say this this is naturally because the muscle is meant to protect bees inside the colony, not outside. Although the muscle protected the colonies had greater bee flight activities, rival rate in muscle control colonies was not much greater, not much success, successful that colonies not protected with the bee muscle. And as we, uh, this is some quote I got from the study, the survival rate of muscle similar colonies was higher, 55%, than the survival rate control simulated in, in non-muscle simulated colonies, 35%. While 55% is a much more than 35% naturally, it's still a low survival rate. And this demonstrates the severity of the hornet menace. Okay, so for journal three, other studies have been conducted in France, the nation where the first introduction occurred in Europe, to study the impact of the Asian hornet in the ecosystem. This study focuses on the Asian hornet VV nigritorax, as a variant of Asian hornets, Vespa velutina. It evaluates its predatory impact on insect species, particularly on the PDF family. Naturally, we, we're here to focus on the impact of Western honeybees, Apis mellifera, as well as the species expansion through, throughout Europe and the potential projectional damage. As an invasive species, the story reveals that Asian hornets have negative impact on the region's biodiversity due to excessive preying on native insects, affecting pollination as well. When it comes to their diet makeup, members of the Pidea family, particularly honeybees, represent a significant amount of the species being preyed by the hornets. The study reveals that most hornets attacks occur in the summer, weakening honeybees' preparation for the winter and potentially leading to colony failure as a result. According to some European regions, predation of BV negrotax has resulted in loss of almost 5% of beehives in southwest of France. Beekeepers reported losses between 30% and 80% of honey bee families, resulting in poor production of honey and other behave products. The study also revealed that concern, a concern finding about the hornet's rapid expansion throughout France and neighboring countries such as Spain, Belgium, Germany, the United Kingdom, Italy, Switzerland, and San Marino. So here I have the figures for the third journal. As we can see here, uh, <clears throat> based on an observation, we can see that members of the PDA family, mostly honeybees, represent a significant portion of the hornet's diet makeup especially in urban areas when where it consists of about 60% of its diet. However, in agricultural areas and forest areas, 33%, 35%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 
It's also a significant number. Oh, here we can see the cycle. Queen survive winter and begin to hold primary nest. Then in the summer, as I mentioned earlier, they attack honeybee, they attack honeybee colonies, nests, and start building secondary nests. <clears throat> so, like I mentioned, they damage in, in the summer they attack uh, honeybee colonies. Yeah, honeybee colonies. And they disrupt their they, they disrupt their foraging process, which makes them vulnerable for the winter. And here we have the map of the projection of expansion. As I mentioned earlier, again, I mentioned that again, the first introduction was in France, but it, and that was back in 2004, but we can see how it's been spreading slowly across the coast, all the way to Spain, San Marino, Switzerland, Italy, Germany, Belgium, and even the United Kingdom, even though they had to cross large body of water. Okay, so for journal four, while most studies have been conducted in France so far, it's important to emphasize that all Western Europe is in peril due to similar climate and ecosystems, which makes it easier for the Asian hornets to rapidly expand. This study focuses on the projection of expansions of the Asian hornet, Vespa velutina, across the United Kingdom, where it arrived later than in France. Figure one is there to present a rapid expansion of the hornet's territory. While it takes five years to make a significant gain, it is predicted that after 10 years, it will have presence over most of England and Wales. And after 20 years, it will not only have presence in all of England and Wales, but also have much higher significant density as well. Figure two gives us an expansionary projection of the hornet nest, both detected and undetected in relation to latitude and reproductivity. It gives us a much more detailed insight. Overall, the study shows us that the Asian hornet has great potential of successfully expanding all over England and Wales, probably making it to Scotland in the future. Given that their introduction in England is much newer than that of France, they do not have intensive studies on the impact of Asian hornets, the, the impact of Asian hornets on honeybees so far, as we've seen in studies in the previous studies in regards to France. Nevertheless, given the species' non brutality and the country's similar climates and ecosystems to that of France, scientists fear about the impact this may have on honeybees. And here's I have a quotation In Europe, V. velutina predates upon many important pollinators, including hoverflies and bumblebees, but more than half its dying comp compromises in Western and European honeybees. European honeybees have also been shown to mount an inefficient and disorganized defense to Vespa velutina. Hawking and entire honeys can be destroyed by predation. So this is similar to the previous uh, journal where we saw that uh, a great portion of the hornet's diet is composed of honeybees or members of the Apidea family. So here I have the data for the journal. As I mentioned here, that this is this is composed of years, four years of its presence. You can see there's barely any significance until the third, four year. However, when we get to ten years, we can see how it has expanded over almost all of England and Wales. However, after ten years, after twenty years, we can see not only that it has effectively expanded to all of England, but also it has increased its density. And as we talked previously, figure two is a much more detailed insight that does not only mention area, but also density as well, and the proximity to the epicenter. So for journal five, unlike Asian hornets invasion in Western Europe, the hornets introduction to the Pacific Northwest is much newer, which means that there is not much data and research on the severity of the impact of Western bee. Apis mellifera. So far, research has been based on the projections of its rapid expansion across the region and the projection how, of, of how this might negatively affect honeybees. Giant hornet, Vespa mandarinia, is known for its ability to quickly wipe out entire colonies of bees with zero impunity. This means that bees, generally Western honeybees, are not able to defend themselves effectively. 
given that Western honeybees do not have the same mechanism of defense as Japanese honeybees do? And here I have one quotation. Is one ex uh, is one example of an invasive species? Quote, yeah, quote is one example of an invasive species that posed risks to economic and ecological sectors in the United States. Vespa banderinia is the largest hornet species in the world and is primary predator of honeybees. And further confirmed sightings since May 2020 have prompted federal and state agricultural officials initiate eradication programs for the pests because of the insects propensity to decimate honeybee populations and affect human safety with strings. So like I said, we, we still have no data on how how much they have impacted already on the honeybee populations in the Pacific Northwest. However, based on what we've seen in Europe so far, we can see how populations and governments in the Pacific Northwest are really concerned about this introduction. Given its natural range in Japan, it has been revealed that Asian giant hornets prefer to habitat temperate forests. Figure one, which we um, I'm sorry, which we have here, shows the green areas in the Pacific Northwest, mostly concentrated in Washington State, Oregon State. We can go all the way to Wyoming, Montana. Figure one gives us insights into the areas that are most likely vulnerable to hornet's presence. According to figure one, the hornet has the potential to expand across Washington, Oregon, British Columbia, Canada, Idaho, Montana. So basically, yes, all this area that's green, this is include British Columbia, but um, it's also to the same degree of green of forest area. This area is, uh, is vulnerable to the presence of the of the giant hornet. However, figure two offers us a much more complex assessment of the projected expansion based on indicators such as climate sustainability, habitat sustainability, density of apiaries, that is the density of Western honeybee population colonies, and the proximity to its introduction. Thank you. We have the map of uh, Washington state and the little bit of Montana to measure uh, the severity and the vulnerability of the species of the areas to the introduction of the giant hornets. We can see that based on th these uh, the coastal areas are more vulnerable than areas that are farther away from the sea. While there are no data, as I mentioned before, on the impact of honeybees yet, the projections in addition to other studies with their under survivability of honeybees threatened by Asian hornets, we can assume that Asian giant hornets do represent a menace to the honeybees in this region, or will do in the future. Okay, so conclusions. Given the studies obtained from journals 1, 2, 3, and four, we can conclude that the Asian hornet, Vespa velutina, does represent a menace to the survival and activity rates of the Western honeybee in Western Europe. This is because the studies have proven that the hornet does indeed affect honeybee's foraging behavior, the effects it has on honeybee colony survival rates, its predatory behavior, and the fact that honeybees re represent a great make a portion of its diet. Additionally, the hornet's rapid expansion throughout Western Europe, particularly in regards to, to France. <laughs> While data in England was based on the projections of its future expansions, we can infer that given England's similarity to France in regards to climate and ecosystems, the island nation would share a similar negative impact for its honeybee survivability. Given that the Pacific Northwest is new to this invasive species, there is no concrete data to determine whether the Asian giant hornet, Vespa mandarinia, has had a negative impact on the survivability of Western honeybee, and the Western honeybee, Apis mellifera, in the region. However, given the recorded behavior of the Asian giant hornet and the fact that honeybees do not have instinct mechanisms to defend themselves, unlike their Japanese counterparts, we can infer that the hornet will have a negative impact on the honeybee survivability and activities given the projection of the expansion of the hornet presented by the data. Significance. Why is this important? Honeybees are important to both the ecosystem and to humanity overall. 
we must care about the well-being and to their survivability. The well-being is already being targeted by these insecticides, habitat loss, and climate change. So we should be careful given the hornet adds up to the already many threats the honeybee already faces. Beekeepers, particularly in places of, of the research, Northern France, East Pacific Northwest, are much more vulnerable to this hornet threat, given that many, many areas, many industries sustain on uh, beekeeping and honey production. Data, either that comes from evaluations on the trade itself or projections of territorial expansion are necessary in order for local and regional com communities to be prepared for the current or upcoming trade. Research on the danger, this invasive species that, yeah, research on the danger that this invasive species pose to the survivability of honeybees can motivate governments, the governments of the US, the governments of France, United Kingdom, the European Union to take the proper action in in order to respond effectively to this crisis. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Yeah, I have some of my references. Thank you.